You guys ever watch a show or a movie and just see this one character really, really going through it. And you're just like, man, what did he do to make them writers that mad? Because sometimes it be feeling like the plot just against them. So as the truth seeker I am, I will be going over characters who deserved better. We can start off calm with the Hulk. I don't know if Mickey had anything to do with this, but who at Marvel thought it would be a good idea to make the Hulk smart? He went from throwing tanks, destroying helicopters, using a literal god as his plaything, to handing out tacos and taking pictures with kids. Did you get that? Like, what the? Ah! Sure, he got beat up by Thanos and sure, his girl died, but that doesn't mean you go to college it's not my hulk i'm sorry it's not my hulk i don't know how they're gonna plan on doing world war hulk with this super intellectual hulk but it's not gonna work out next up is kenny from south park i've never seen a show pick on one character more than south park picks on kenny i'll give an example there was this one episode where these two girls wendy and i don't remember your name were in a bit of a fight involving a gun and by accident one of them pulled the trigger and you would think in such a close quarters fight one of them must have gotten shot He was literally across town eating dinner with his family. Like some of the times they gave him a chance to run, but this time it was just out of nowhere. And this is a common occurrence to South Park. Kenny has died over a hundred times. And I'm not saying to stop, no, keep going, keep killing him. It's hilarious, but I do feel bad for him. Next up on the list is all the scouts from Attack on Titan, especially Marco. Imagine being born into a world where giant naked people are trying to eat you. I would have just gave up. Like these dudes used to go through it. First of all, they had bad food. Most of their parents died. A handful of them die like every day, getting crushed, getting eaten, and if it got really bad, some of them would just commit suicide. And that's another thing to find out that some of your friends are the reasons you guys are dying. Like, what would you do unless you're Mikasa or Levi? You don't really stand a chance. And I know they betrayed everybody, but the way Reiner, Annie, and Berthold did my boy Marco was so nasty. All he wanted to do was talk things through, man. <laughs> Marco. And then when the Beast Titan showed up, it was game over. Imagine a giant monkey just hurling rocks at you. And I'm not talking giant like Harambe. I'm talking giant like King Kong. I love Erwin, but that speech wouldn't have worked on me. I value my life way too much. And dying to a rock hitting you upside the head at like 300 miles per hour must really hurt. So I'm good. So yeah, I'm glad Aaron's going through with the rumbling. Next is Guts from Berserk. Man, this is this is definitely the worst one yet. We can start with his early childhood. Guts is born like any other kid, seeing his mom hanging from a tree. So Guts gets adopted. You know, obviously he gets adopted by a family of mercenaries. Then his new mom dies. His new dad hates him. So he abuses him, tells him for a night to another mercenary and eventually tries to kill him, leading Guts to kill his only parental figure left off to an amazing start. Then after a few years, Guts meets Griffith, the only person who can make Guts's life any worse. But at first, I can't lie. It's not bad. Guts met Casca, who we soon find out will be the love of his life. Him and Griffith were the best of buddies like PB and J. Guts finally had everything he could ever want. But one day, Guts decided he wanted to chase his own dream. And Griffith was not happy about that. Being someone who's all about his dreams and having control, he couldn't believe that the one person he considered his equal, his friend, would dare leave his side. So they duel again. This time, Guts comes out on top. He's just that guy now. So being upset, Griffith, he commits treason against the country. And by treason, I mean he slept with the king's daughter and thought about Guts while doing it. I don't know, that's a little zesty to me, but hey, to each their own. So this leads to Griffith getting imprisoned and being tortured. And Guts finds out about a year later. So Guts and Casca lead the band of the falcon and go save griffith then after that's done they're letting griffith rest or at least they thought he was resting but in reality the whole time griffith was just reflecting on his life and how he'll probably never achieve his dreams now that he's so frail and weak and wow, 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 wow cry me a river bro so griffith takes off in the carriage that he's in crashes and attempts to commit suicide and this attempt to commit suicide causes the red humpty dumpty around his neck to start screaming activating the darkest event in anime history worse than the rumbling worse than that dog scene from full metal even worse than one piece as a whole the eclipse if you guys thought what happened to guts before was bad this is like seven times worse so griffith's attempt to <laughs> actually opens a portal to pretty much hell there's demons it's dark it probably smells like edp's chairs it's it's a bad place so griffith sacrifices all his friends minus guts and casca to finally accomplish his dream mind you guts is just trying to save his friend he doesn't actually believe he sacrificed all of them so when guts sees all his comrades dead and sees griffith come down as the black falcon which is pretty much just a really zesty Batman costume. He's definitely surprised. And what he does to Guts as the Black Falcon is... <sighs> 
I'll put it this way. Let's say Casca is applesauce and Guts really likes applesauce. He even slept with it once. Griffith takes the applesauce and eats it right in front of Guts, unconsensually, right in front of him. But Guts can't do anything because a bunch of bullies are holding him down. Guts gets so mad and desperate that he tears one of his shirt sleeves just to have a chance at fighting back. But even that fails and Griffith eats the applesauce and Guts cries. That's the most PG way I can explain what happened. Point is, Guts went through a lot, but not more than the final person on this list. The character we all saw as kids, but we didn't know how much he was truly suffering on the inside. Swiper no swiping. Swiper no swiping. Oh man. Yes, the sly fox himself, Swiper from Dora. He may be a low life criminal, but has anyone ever asked why he is the way he is? When was the last time someone asked Swiper how he was doing? When was the last time instead of saying Swiper no swiping, someone said Swiper no suppressing your feelings? So you know what he does now? He attempts to steal from his friends to get their attention. Even if it's just rejection, a little bit of attention is good enough for Swiper. Just some attention and love. That's all he wants. And he sells the stuff he steals for crack. Moral of the story, Marco. <laughs> Cause I never miss, miss